Hey guys, I'm Ozia and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be looking at the scalable chest, a, uh, an addition from Rotocraft, which is essentially um, the amount of infantry, infantry slots inside of the chest um, is scalable, expands with the amount of power you put into the chest. So today we're going to be powering it with our, um, with our, our little coils, which our coil winders power up, and from the last episode, I built this really tiny system here just to send power from here to there. So what I've done is I've expanded that system just a bit. I haven't got it working just yet. Um, but the main idea here is that we will be sending a WAND coil from this machine over to a, a chest that will be here. And then the power will go all the way along here. It will go down to this coil, which says air at the moment because it's got no coil of course. And then that will power our chest. Okay, so first thing we need to do is let us make the chest, which is extremely easy. So it's eight, uh, eight HSLA steel ingots. Let's just grab that. And the chest, we'll grab another chest, we need that. And some wine springs. Okay, so go to our workbench, put the chest in the middle, and put steel ingots on the around the outside. And we get our scalable chest. Now if we just chuck it down here, as you can see I can't open it because there's no power to it. We use the angular transducer. Insufficient power just requires 4,960 watts. Okay, so 4,996 watts, sorry. Uh, the coils we're using right now, the, uh, the wine springs will output at 8,192 kilowatts, so double. So that won't be an issue. Okay, so first of all, let's get this system working. Okay, I'm gonna put a chest in here. And hopefully, as soon as I put a chest in, we should get a powered coil. As you can see, there's one here that's waiting to be pulled out by this pneumatic item pump. You chuck it in there. There we go, we've got one. We've got a 128 Nm meter torque one. Set it there for the side. Okay, this pneumatic item pipe, as you can see, goes up and around. That one goes all the way over to our um, chest. And the one that longs around the bottom is the return one. It comes out of the chest. And we also have this one here, which does a loop, ends up coming up through here and into our second coil winder. So we've got two coil, uh, two coil output sources. And only one input source, so we're going to need to put another coil in there, but we'll do that later. Uh, okay, so before we turn these engines on, we're going to have to make sure that these uh, pneumatic item pumps are set to pull out the right item, so which is this one. So we're going to tell it to go whitelist, tell it to use the metadata, which is the uh, colon 128 at the end, which signifies the power in it. So we're going to just chuck that there. Okay. So that one will go, hey, you've got one in here uh, at 128 kilowatts. And so will this one, like that. And so if we just chuck it in there, it should disappear when we turn on this pipe. Yep, it has disappeared. Where does that one go? That one goes, does that one go? Oh, I've got to figure out where that one goes. That one. <laughs> This is a, if I, if I swore, you would call this place a, the uh, cluster boop industries of uh, item transport. <laughs> it's the kind of system I like. Okay, and this one, here we go, got the, the power winding down. Okay, so now we've got the chest working. I can right click on it, it says page zero. I'm going to make any eye disappear for a bit. And as you can see, we've got page zero, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, so ten pages. So that's just from eight thousand kilowatts. So these things can hold a massive amount, and probably more. Uh, let's see. Where's the? Uh, where's my book? Is in here? There it is. Let's look at it. Right quick. Okay, it should be. Scalable chest, scalable chest. Uh, 
chest, go with chest, go with chest. There it is. Okay, so if we put enough fire into it, we can get 594 stacks maximum. Okay, so it's no AE system, but um, it's certainly better than an AE system in my, in my books, because you know, I don't really like AE, but hey. <sighs> oh, wait, should do something while, while over there. We need to teach this our pneumatic pipe to pull out empty ones, which is zero kilowatts, like that. Flip that on. So when this one runs out of power, which it will soon, it will send it all the way back over to not here. If we look at the pipe transport, it goes under um, into that pipe that I'm pointing to now, which goes along here, goes into this pipe, goes into this pipe. As you can see, you've got two inputs into the one pipe, one output, which is absolutely fine. That will go back to the coil winder. So when it runs, uh, when that runs out of power, it'll go back up to the core one to be refilled. Okay, so let us put a uh, another coil in here, an empty one, like that one. Actually, what I'm going to do? Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm trying to think. Uh, actually, this one, this one here. Oh god, this is so confusing. Um, that one's the powered one. This one has got to be an empty one. Yes. And it should send it back to the machine. So empty one in. Turn on the machine. It's gone from there. It should appear up here, which it is. Powering should go to 128. Should be sent back to the chest at 128, which is good. And then this one will take it out when the other one has space in it. Um, have I got that one sorted? Yep. Uh, this one's the input, that one's the output. Output back to the machine. Now I'm getting confused. <laughs> ah, let us look here. Um, Doop, doop. Put another one in there. Okay, I'm trying to figure out if I've got this pipe system correct. Ugh. Okay, that one goes that way, this way, into the old system. Yes, that's right. This one Okay, that one's going in the right direction, yeah. That's um, This one should pull automatically out that way over to here. Uh hmm. but is it why is it not? Chuck another one in there to power that one up. This one, 128, 128. Do, do, do. Uh. Okay, where is this one? Is 128. That one is zero to go back to charging. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just get one of these charged ones out. Put that in there. Okay. Okay. That one's got a charge one now. This one get an empty one. If we... Let's go and make another empty one. See if this system works. Look, that's way too far. Four like that. Four empties. Okay. 
Okay, so what am I doing wrong here? Uh do do uh, good on Gumby. I know what I've gotta do. So so silly. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I've gotta run a um No, no, that's right. Sure, right. This one should get ones when these ones run out of power, right? They should. Go on, hurry up. Whiz power faster. On that note, um, I've decided to start doing some streaming as well. Um, not, not streaming that will interfere doing with the YouTube stuff, right, but extra stuff, uh, which I'm probably going to do uh, in the mornings, Australia time. So, but uh, um, if you like, guys, could you please comment down below if you'd like me to do some streaming and at what time? There, uh, okay, so system works. I'm not a dumbass. Excellent. Okay, so please comment down below, right, when you'd like to see me stream, or if you don't <laughs> don't want to see me stream at all, hey, I'm fine with that too. Alright, um, I'm thinking about streaming either the setup process for doing my um, Let's Plays like this, like, so setting up this stupid, insane machine, um, doing a Skyblock challenge, um, there's a a mod pack called Sky Factory, which I'm thinking about doing, um, and stuff like that, or uh, on my test server doing testy type stuff. So, let's go back over here. This should have power. Yes, it does. There we go, guys. We've got a scalable chest which has ten pages of storage. So it's so this would be one double chest. So no double chest. So essentially, you would get about twenty uh, double chests which is insane and uh, if you run out of power and there's items in here um, they will become inaccessible but if you re-add power you get the items back again so it's easy as that guys so um, until next go ne blah, until next time when I can talk properly um, actually there's no guarantee I can talk properly then either uh, please like comment and subscribe and uh, yeah. subscribe. Nah.